Hi, in this episode of the beginner's guide I'm going to talk about the snap controls bar and I know I haven't finished with the fill and stroke tool yet but this is a request from a subscriber so I'm going to cover this first. Now this is the snap controls bar over here. Now if you don't see this bar anywhere you can go ahead and check from the view menu show and hide and make sure this option is checked. I talked about this in the previous tutorial. And also if you selected this option over here from the view menu custom, the bar will appear on top here and not on the right side. I'm gonna go back to the default. The first option is called enable snapping and this is kind of like a master switch. If you turn this off you won't be able to use any of the other options so if you want to use the snap controls make sure this is on now i'm going to start with the bottom options here the first one is snap to the page border now this is our page in inkscape i'm also going to file document properties and turn this show border shadow off and now we have only the page border so i'm going to turn this option on grab the create rectangles and squares tool and i'm going to mouse over the corner of the page and you see this little X appears and this means that I can snap to the page corner I can also snap to the page border but let's say I want to create a rectangle with exactly the same size as the page maybe for a background so I'm going to mouse over here click drag then mouse over here handle to page corner and you see now I have a rectangle with exactly the same size of the page so this option can be useful if you're using the page when you're creating your graphics not everybody does that a lot of people just create graphics outside the page but if you do use the page in some cases this option can be useful now let's talk about the next option snap to grids and right now we don't have a grid we have to go to the view menu and select grid you can also use the keyboard shortcut hashtag which is shift free and now again with the create rectangles and squares tool if you mouse over you see the little X and also a little tip handle to grid intersection you can click drag and then you can also snap to other grid intersection and of course if you turn this option off you will no longer be snapping to grid now let's remove the grid and this option next one is snap to guides this is on by default just like the snap to grids and uh, we need some guides for this one so I'm going to click and drag and then again with the create rectangles and squares tool if I mouse over you see handle to guide I can click drag and then snap here to the other guide now in some cases you might be using guides in your project but you're doing something with other tools that you don't want to snap to these guides so maybe you need to turn this off for a moment because it can be really annoying if you're trying to do something close to a guide but you don't want to snap to it so just know that this option is over here if you need to turn it off or on so I'm going to continue with more options in the next part of this tutorial that's it for this one, I hope that it was useful, if it was, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, visit my channel, that's it for now, bye.